Welcome back to San Diego Spotlight. Derek Evans here, your host. Tom Holbrook joining me today from Suncraft Solar. Suncraftsolar.com. A true local energy company here in San Diego. Doing great things, helping people control their costs on electricity. Basically control your destiny. Um, it's really unnerving if you think about it. You know, back in the day when people had, when a variable mortgage was a normal thing. People had to experience the fluctuation of their mortgage payment. That's pretty unnerving. We have the same situation right now with SDG&E and the costs. Um, costs went up. They've all, it seems like they've always gone up. Tom, tell me, tell me what you know about the costs, SDG&E, San Onofre. How much of this is true? What the heck is going on? Oh, the great SDG&E conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be the leader here for the no. conspiracy theory, but it just it seems a little bit weird to me that you know we had this San Onofre thing, and then immediately afterwards, oh, rates are going way up. Well, there's so much that has led us to this place, and I think the you know if we look back, okay, take a look back before we look forward. You know, before 2000, 2001, life was all good. We all had a single rate that we paid for electricity. It was a low number, 8, 9, 10 cents a kilowatt hour. And we're going to talk about that because that's a unit of measure for electricity. But in, what, approximately 2000, when the state of California and all the major utilities fell in bed with Enron? Mm. Remember that? Yeah. Well, the utility companies, the major publicly owned utilities, SDG&E, Southern California Edison, PG&E, lost billions of dollars. And they went to the Public Utility Commission and the, and the, uh, the, the California Energy Commission, and they said, gosh, bail us out, we're in trouble. And, of course, you know, they had to bail them out because you can't have your utilities go bankrupt. So they loaned billions of dollars to the electric companies. And, of course, their big question was, how are you going to pay us back? And the utilities said, aha, we have a plan. And we're going to go away from this single rate structure to a tiered rate structure. And we're going to protect the average guy with, you know, protected rates at the low tiers, okay, when figuring that everybody is entitled to a certain amount of cheap energy, but we're going to penalize the high energy users which made it very punitive for people that had air conditioning, that had wells, that had swimming pools, because once they got out of those low tiers, or the steps, let's call them steps, once they got out of the low steps, all of a sudden the cost for the energy they were buying was more than double the cheapest energy. So that was the first problem, is we went to this tiered system where energy costs were stepped based on use. So it's a punitive system. The more power you use, the more you paid for the power you were using. Kind of sounds like the tax code. Um, kind of so. So does that mean that if my bill was 200 one month and then 400 the next month, that doesn't mean that I use twice as much energy? No, not at all. I could have used just a little bit more energy. It maybe means you use 20 25% more, but you paid double Wow, for that power. Um, so, so these energy efficiencies that you're talking about and that you guys provide, especially the free analysis, Suncraft Solar, it, that re can really make a big difference to people who have these big electric bills because they're paying this increased rate for every kilowatt hour they use. It just keeps going. The rate for that kilowatt watt hour keeps going up and up and up. Right. And when you start looking at energy efficiency, you're really kind of peeling back the, the, the carrot from the top tier down. Mm. So if you can just get out of the top tier and get into the lower tiers, you can save a tremendous amount of money. That's huge. Um, Nobody it, knows that. Tom. No, Nobody not really. Knows about this. When we show this to customers, it's surprising. They have a little bit of an understanding. Really? Now, now let's kind of move forward to the recent utility rate change because this was this was an interesting one. Okay, about uh, five months ago, SDG&E came out and said, okay, folks, we've got a new rate increase coming out, and it's going to be about 7%, which is our historical average, so it's going to be okay. And so everybody thought, well, okay, it's kind of like history, so it should be fine. Well, then they actually published a, a report that they put out in an email, and the, the PUC required that they sent this out, and it was in an email. An email came out and said, rates are going to go up, average of 7%. And then at the very bottom of the email, there was a little link that said, click here for the details. And most people just, you know, as always, skimmed the surface and said, okay, 7%, we're good. Well, if you went down to the link, there was about an eight-page report that actually had schedules, and it showed that if you were in just Tier 1 and 2, cheap power, you were going to see a 2 or 3% rate increase. If you were in Tier 3, you'd see, you know, a little bit of rate increase, which would average 7%. But that little bit of rate increase in Tier 3 was almost 17%. 
But if you were in tier four, the top tier user level, you were going to see a 40 to 50% rate increase. Holy smokes. Many of our customers went from an average of a $200 electric bill to well over $300, $350. When we get into some of our customers that are high energy users, four, five, six hundred dollar electric bills, they were seeing their bill go up nine to nine hundred dollars. It's insane. That's unbelievable. But I mean it's great for you because I mean the first thing you do when you get a nine hundred dollar SDG and E bill is you pick up the phone and you call Suncraft Solar, right? Because there's no way you're gonna put up with that. I mean, here's the thing for me, it's just kind of a racket. And I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but it's a racket. I mean you've been, you, what option do you have? Who's the other company that you can choose to get power from? You know what I mean? So you have no choice. Well, there's still candles. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's about, hey, uh, do I want to be a part of this monopoly situation where I have no control, where they can decide what this is worth and I'm plugged in and I have to deal with it? Or do I want to take control? And for me personally, I can't wait to be a homeowner because I want to have solar. I want to be in control of this. I want to know how much it's going to cost me. And I don't want to be subject to these wildly swinging rates. You talk about owning a home, you have a pool, you have a spa, you know, you do a couple of other things that use some electricity, and all of a sudden, you become one of those high electricity users. Right, right. And it's lifestyle. You know, I remember when I was your age, uh, that was a long time ago, <laughs> but I think I had a 19-inch TV and a clock radio. Yeah. And you know, my average electric bill was maybe $11 or something like that. And, you know, these days, if I didn't have solar, I'd probably be paying well over 350 to $400 a month. And that's just insane because I would like to retire one day um, and get there without feeling like I'm working for San Diego Gas and Electric. <laughs> well, one other thing I want to mention yeah. while we're still on the topic of stg e because we talked about the tier level. We talked about Enron. But the, the unfortunate thing is this whole rate increase that took effect on October 4th, it kind of fell over the same time that San Onofre was shutting down. And so a lot of consumers are walking around going, oh, well, that was San Onofre, so, okay, I guess I understand it. But the reality of it is this rate structure had nothing to do with San Onofre, really? this new increase. In fact, if you really look at the details, part of this rate increase was going back to 2012 and billing us all for the fact that we didn't get billed enough last year. So it's a retroactive increase. So is, is, are you telling me that the San Onofre thing it hasn't even had an impact yet? Will oh, it? Oh, stay tuned. There's more to come. Yeah, San Onofre has not even impacted your rate bill. They're going to be the PUC uh, and the major utilities are still in hearings trying to figure out how much of that cost they're going to pass through to the consumer in 2014 and 2015. So I don't oh, know where man. that's going to go. The one thing that I do know is you don't have to live there. You, know, yeah. you can go solar today. Reduce your energy costs by no less than 20%, potentially up to 15% by doing it logically. And when I say logically, again, energy efficiency, you don't have to settle for a big solar bandit on your house. You can do it the right way, make your home energy efficient, get the right size solar system, and lock in your cost today and save, you know, for a $200 electric bill, Derek, the savings is over $100,000 in 20 years. That's huge. And that's, that's all. Money. And we're talking about net tax money here. That's right. money that you pay taxes on, then they give it to you, then you have to pay it out. So when you can save that money, that's why saving 100 bucks is always better than making 100 bucks because you already paid the taxes on the 100 bucks you saved. That's right. You got to pay taxes on the 100 bucks you make. That's exactly right. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about saving money with Tom Holbrook. He's the president and CEO of Suncraft Solar, suncraftsolar.com. He has made the offer to do a free energy analysis for anyone listening to the program today. You can go to suncraftsolar.com, or you can call this number to redeem, 858-602-3300. So suncraftsolar.com, just like it sounds, suncraftsolar.com, or 858-602-3300. That's how